I'm Lauren Sanchez. Succulent, juicy, red, ripe tomatoes. The perfect addition to a salad, I don't know, or a burger. No, well, unless uh, it, that is if it's uh, contaminated with salmonella. Al Nipple. That's what top police brass are saying after a blood-soaked weekend in Los Angeles. In the city proper, at least 10 people were murdered. Jeff Michael and the state objects were. President Bush's former spokesman testifying in the CIA leak case, Scott McClellan, will go. I think I might have to take the Bentley over courtside. <laughs> I think I just might do that. Well, you can use it more than once. <laughs> and you can drive it somewhere to like a sports bar and watch the game. I, I Bentley. would do that. I would like that as long as it's a convertible. In fact, okay. you can watch it in the Bentley probably, can't you? <laughs> now that I think Good about point. it. Good yeah. point. Which brings us to our email question. Like everything else, the price of entertainment is going up. And when the chance to see your favorite performer comes along, budgets fly out the window. Especially for her part, First Lady Laura Bush wraps up her visit to Afghanistan. This is Bush. I'm Lauren Sanchez, back home at Staples and back in the series. Game three of the NBA Finals, a must win for the Lakers, and they get it done against Boston. News. Tickets to the NBA Finals even harder to come by than Super Bowl tickets. Yes, I know the feeling, Rick. <laughs> and that makes the hottest game in town ripe for scammers. John Aid sometime this week. The Wisconsin flooding may also spell the end for the town of Gaze Mills. Gorgonio. San Gorgonio. They should change the name of the school. It's, it's too hard to say. <laughs> well, tough. at least for me. <laughs> okay. Then they, Good then point, right? Don't, don't change the name. Actually, yet. I'm going to go back to high school. Um, <laughs> that brings us to tonight's email question. Scamming your high school administration is a time-honored, if slightly disreputable, practice. It's part of growing up and a, and a parting shot at the adults who kept you on a short leash for... Dolphins are dying in several river creeks in England, and marine experts are trying to figure out why. Homeschool right. someone when they're going to school. The school district, yeah, they don't... They, they look down on that. Yeah. He got the point. I, I, that what? has me speechless. Yes, it does. How do you survive For that? once. Unbelievable. Not funny. It seems everyone is having twins these days, but this brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, double your pleasure. Baby, I love how they put them in the same little... That's right, fasten a little incubator, together. a little warmer, whatever. The that little, is so yeah. sweet. Oh, I want twins. <laughs> oh, to, go, to go with your other 12 kids? It's not funny. I don't have 12 kids. I have four. You, you just have them every year, that's all. Uh, why not? I, like I need a vacation. Hey, <laughs> yes, there's a do. monument at Mount Rainier National Park. And uh, we got a lot of pranks from your emails, so we can't wait to read some. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that next. I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Lauren Sanchez. Sexually explicit pictures from an obscenity trial show up on the Internet. And they were posted by the presiding judge. How I that brings us to tonight's email question. The Riverside County Bull had been gone for almost two years. And then he turned up, and it's always a thrill to reconnect with something you or someone you thought was lost forever. Good. So sweet. Mm. Well, hikers who decided to tackle Mount Rainier in June do not plan on dealing with certain weather conditions. Nobody expects. I just find it interesting that they actually might ban it. Yes, anything that, that is artificial that helps you perform better is not legal in sports. Shouldn't be. Either. Or in the bedroom. That's different. I think if you believe it, it could, you can't put that energy out there, Rick, okay? okay I it's like 13. I, I love 13. It's a great number. It's a great number. Love it. We don't get great numbers, but it's a great number. <laughs> Ancient mythology becoming modern reality. Look, news. I don't know, but did you see Justin Timberlake dog in the 70s? I mean, that was your era. That's wrong. That's wrong. just wrong. Were you ever in a Speedo? I don't even want to know. Okay, Heath Ledger never got a chance to see his portrayal of the Joker on the big screen, but his family soon will. Ledger's ready. Good evening, I'm Lauren Sanchez. And I'm Ed Laskos. You know, it lasted just eight seconds, but in that short time, the lives of four Boy Scouts erased. In the wake of a powerful tornado ripping through an Iowa campground, heroic stories of survivors who managed to stay focused. Craig Boswell. All right, Craig, they call the school district LA Unified, right? But it seems to be coming apart at the seams. Yeah, it does. Two new scandals are rocking two separate LA campuses. John, I mean, you know, they have to even do that. And that brings us to tonight's yeah. email question. Okay, clearly there is nothing cuter than a puppy or a kitten. Well, besides Ed, of course. Ah, oh, you too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but what if you had to choose between news? Hundreds remain evacuated in Northern California due to wildfires. Okay, saying it needs to offset record fuel prices, another airline has decided to charge you for checking a bag. United no, happy tonight, no, are they? No, no, but no. maybe the Boston Celtics had the talking head song burning down the house plane in their heads. That's what they did in game four of the NBA championship torch the Staples Center. 
People living in Spain are paying the price for a trucker strike. Store shell. <laughs> 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 Miami will go next. See what the puppies are doing down here. This is uh, break your heart. A Utah woman accidentally throws away almost 200,000 bucks. That is <laughs> lucky. I, I would have looked, and it would have been the last bag I last checked. Last bag, right? Exactly. Yeah, or somebody would have taken it, you know, put it through a mulcher. Can you imagine? Probably. That yeah. one, that's me. Mm -hmm. Ever been asked if you were dropped on your head at birth? All the time. What do, you, what do we answer when they say that? Do we say, how did you know? <laughs> well, actually, in Peru, it's a daily occurrence. This is hard, huh? He is not only inspirational, but so is are his parents. Yeah. I mean, that's just incredible. Yeah, I bet you they feed off his inspiration. You yeah. Know, the, compared to the other way around. That's true. And, you know, after Harvard, Kevin's going to go on to school, law school. Not going to stop at Harvard Law School. He wants to be an attorney. He wants to fight for people with disabilities. I love that. Ed, that makes, a, makes your heart That was good. a good one, Ed. Lovely. You bet. Okay, quick. What's the last thing Roy Horn of the Bay Zach Siegfried and Roy needs? Well, if you said more. My stars again? No, I can't do it on camera. It's a <sighs> completely off camera thing. Right, I, we'll I, I right. got to save okay. a little bit of myself. Okay. Well, we, we have the emails. Your emails coming up next. Ed, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, right? Oh, no, no, ladies, come on, come and on. This it's person, all about him. This person's opinion is that, of course, there's way too many cats. So these little devils. All right, we have, we have another one? We have another one? Oh, we have see. plenty of time. Keep reading. Go, oh, okay. Come on, we read a bunch all, all right. at once. I believe there are more cats than dogs because cats have nine lives. That's a good one. That's, That's true. Quick. That's quick from Mike. There are never too many cats. When you cook them up, they make great dog food. <gasps> oh. Somebody brought it. from Garden Okay, I have a question for you. If yes. you, what would you be, a cat or a dog? Just curious, Good if you were... Good evening, I'm Michael Brownlee. I'm Lauren Sanchez. A five-year-old remains hospitalized tonight, the victim of severe physical and psychological torture. Now police want your help. That's why teenagers in Silmar are being kept busy this summer and away from gang life. It's an effort called Friday Night Extreme Teens. Parents of one of the Boy Scouts killed Wednesday in a tornado are in deep mourning tonight, but also celebrating their memories of him as a born leader. Hot summer nights are made for cruising, but just not in Hollywood. You like that, don't yeah, you? Cruising. But police are putting the brakes on Sunset and Hollywood Boulevard's Amy Murphy and the street team. Is you can't talk on the phone, you can't text, now you can't cruise. Yeah, you know, I mean, come on. Life is tough for you, huh? Gosh. You know, all I have to say is poor teenagers. There you their go. life is getting taken away, and it's not even by their parents. Gay for adults. But though. That brings us to tonight's email question. From the days of American Graffiti and even before then, cruising the streets is a rite of passage for high schoolers and college kids all across the country. Especially here in California where car culture is king. Did you guys you, get all that? Do you want to know what I, I did? I think, but you know what I think for Father's Day, Mark was telling me with his, like, that hip, you should know that by now. It's going to be sunny. Oh, that was this. Right, sunny. that's this. Oh, that's this. Right, exactly. Okay. You'll, you'll start to get to know it. How about Windy? Fun. What's Windy? Well, it's kind of like this. Oh, Windy. You know, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Appreciate that. Yeah. All right, well, a life-saving act has turned two good friends into best buds forever. But one of the boys began choking when his pal just came to the rescue. Reporter Antonio Castilan talks to the hero. Damn this. Well, this is Fashion Week in Rio, but while professional models are Paring down the cat or parading down the catwalk at an exclusive convention center. Another set of models is putting on a decidedly alternative show. I am so glad that that segment is in the past. It's, it's history, it's out in the air. Whew. Okay, when you're young and beautiful in California, chances sure, are you sure. soak up about as much sun as you can get. Unfortunately, that can event. Well, a lot of you 30 and 40 somethings, men and women, are now paying the price for all that sun year after year. But a new laser treatment claims it can quickly repair sun damaged skin and take a decade off your face at the same time. We're going to cruise these through these commercials and your emails when we come back. You like that? Cruise. I like that because that's our email question. Yes, I got cruise. it. Yeah. You got, I got it. it. Who cared what the old folks said. Uh, when, I was, uh, when I was young, I used to go cruising down Long Beach Boulevard in Firestone. Not exactly the crowd I liked, but it was a good time. That's when. <laughs> now you can't do anything anymore. That's why my weekends begin on Tuesday and Wednesday instead of Friday and Saturday. That's when the police are less alerted. Ha, ha, ha. It's from Jesse. Take that. Yeah. The thing is when. that we're, we're asking where people cruise on hot summer nights, and tonight is a hot summer night, and so everyone who actually does that is cruising, don't you think? Possibly not these locations. I cruise my way on home on a hot summer. <laughs> <laughs> right here, I'm working, I just cruise my way on home. I think you're halfway there right now. Well, uh, I was halfway there about two segments. Ladies on the street. Looking for the ladies. <laughs>
<laughs> Allie says, eh, on a hot summer nights when I was uh, in my teen years, I would take my dad's 95 Mustang and cruise How down nice PCH with the to top right now. down, taking in the breeze. Yeah. I did my career because I'd have money to buy drinks after cruising. Put some 20s on it, some doves, you're set. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Here's all the lingo. <laughs> Bye -bye. Peace.